Hello, Kevin Stevenson here with Phase Logics. You can find us at GetMeTheGeek.com. We're a managed IT services provider, and today I'll be bringing you some more Proxmox fun. Today, what we're going to do is I have a fresh install of Proxmox without a subscription, and what I'm going to do is show you how to set that up to where you can get updates for that Proxmox. And uh, so let's get started. Here I have my Proxmox web page. I'm going to log in. And the first thing you notice is this, you don't have valid subscription pop-up that always is going to show you. This is going to be a pretty standard thing. You can get a subscription from, for Proxmox. I will let you know that it is also pretty darn affordable. So if you want to go that route, it's a good option. However, you don't have to. Just click OK, and then what you want to do is go ahead and I'm going to use PuTTY to get inside this guy and uh, be able to do the updates. Here we go. Here we are. So now I'm putting it into this guy. And what we're going to do is edit the source list. Nano. I'm going to use Nano. That's my preferred editor. It's nice and simple. Slash etc. Slash apt. Slash source list. That's going to get you to the main um, update source list. <clears throat> So what we want to do is go on down here to the bottom and we're going to put in a no subscription entry. And that is it there. And all you, that's pretty much all you do in that guy. So we're just going to control X and save this guy and boom. Now, the other thing we need to do is go ahead and edit the enterprise list so that since there isn't a subscription. And that we go to nano again. PVE dash enterprise dot list. And there you're going to find one enterprise one. All we're going to do is put a hash symbol and save it. And all that hash symbol is, is basically commenting out this, this line. Now, you're good to go. Now, with Proxmox, you always want to do a dist upgrade, or otherwise you're going to have some issues. So, now we're ready to update this Proxmox. And here we go. That's going to be an apt update. And then we're also going to do the apt dist upgrade. And we're going to do the dash Y, which will basically say yes to everything. So, we go ahead and hit yes on that, or enter on that. And here we go. We're doing our updates. Now you notice that uh, right now it says 5.4.3 or dash three over here. When we get done with this update, that's probably gonna update to a newer version. Okay. Looks like we had some sort of issue there. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that update one more time. And looks like it's all good. So now we're going to refresh the page. Yep, and you see that 5.4-10 now. So that's all updated. Now, we're if you remember, there was that little pop-up. There's a fix for that too. So we're going to go to user share uh, JavaScript box 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 widget toolkit and see there's this proxmox lib.js. We are going to make a copy of that.
Uh, you'll see that I have a backup of that original one. And now let's get in there and make a change to that. All right. So if you go down here to a line that says if data dot status, be anywhere in there. I might actually try to look for it. Boom, look right there it is. All right. <clears throat> so you see how that, that pop up that says no, no valid subscription warning here. We just change this guy to false. So we'll just take this, this data right here. Change that to false. Save it. Now we're going to restart the Proxmox service. And that's done. So now let's reload the page again here. Yep. We're going to just do a log out. I'll reload that page just one more time. So if we're lucky, now you may have to clear your browser or something like this, but to make this work, but voila, no message anymore. So that is how you change a non-subscription Proxmox to use the open source, the, the non-subscription repos for updates and remove that pesky little pop-up. After this point in time, you can go over here and click on updates and then click the refresh and see it's going to go out there and refresh these guys, look in, and read the packages and all that good stuff. And because we did this already, that's all good um, by the command line, but you can use the GUI to do the updates now too. So from here on out, you'll should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, just give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to hire us for a project, head over to GetMeTheGeek.com where we offer business IT solutions. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.